What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today we have yet another keyboard review for you guys and it's actually another new release from Logitech. This is Logitech G413. It just came out around two weeks ago and I've been using it nonstop actually for my testing. And it's a very solid option out there for only $89.99 or 90 bucks if you're a realist. However, there are some sacrifices. So let's check this out. First up, taking a look at it, I love the sleek and simple approach that Logitech went for with this keyboard. This all black, stealthy carbon look with the red LED lights inside definitely hits home for me. I know it's a popular color option out there as well, but also if you're not digging the black and red look, they have a silver keyboard option available with white LED lights inside. It's nice they give you that color option, so it's gonna be up to you to pick which one you like, but given that brushed aluminum backplate on the keyboard, it is definitely styling. And just looking at it head on, even though it is a full size mechanical keyboard, it does look pretty compact. So it has a nice small footprint, I think. I'm not gonna go over any of the specs or something like that. You can find that on their product page. Just for a real quick overview, on the back side of the keyboard, you do have a USB pass through. A lot of keyboards at this price range don't include this. There's very few that do. So I'm nice to see that they do have it on this unit here. Great for plugging in things like a flash drive or a mouse or you know a headset. And then additionally, on the bottom here, you do have a little section for router that cable if you choose to have it route underneath. That's just so you don't have a cable hanging in front of your keyboard. If it is a headset, you can just route it down nicely. Again, keeping that cable clutter down to a minimum. Also on the backside, you have five rubber pads to prevent scratching your desktop surface and two feet that elevate its backside that flip outward. So now let's get into the good stuff, which is my thoughts and experiences with this. And I've got to say for the past like week and a half, I've been playing an unhealthy amount of Battlegrounds, like more than a full week's worth. Um, or a work week, if you will, because that's, that's pretty much the reason why there hasn't been a lot of videos on the channel. I've just been playing that nonstop, but I've been using this keyboard the entire time. And the transition from my normal Cherry Switch keyboard to the Romer G switches inside this, the transition has been just fine for me. But judging from recent videos on Logitech keyboards, the audience either loves or hates Romer G switches. Not too sure why, it could be their biased mindset, but honestly for me, I didn't notice a big change. Now, Logitech has been using these Romer Gs for a while now, and talking about them, they do feel slightly different if you are experienced with different keyboards. On a regular cherry stem, it just has that one stem in the middle. This is kind of like a hollowed out tube with an LED light inside underneath the switch. So it's all right there. It still requires 45 grams of force, kind of like cherry reds do but it does feel kind of slightly heavier. I'm not too sure why, probably because it is that tube and not just the one stem in the middle. However, an advantage to this is they only bottom out at 1.5 millimeters versus the regular two millimeters on your average mechanical keyboard. So they're 25% faster, which when you're gaming is slightly more noticeable. So if you don't have a preference, you've never tried out different switches, it's gonna be just fine for you. It does emulate a cherry switch pretty well, I'd say. But some people out there, like I said, the audience, they're either gonna love them or hate them. I don't mind them at all. And the fact that it's 25% faster than an average switch, is gonna make some people probably lean towards this, especially for that appealing $89 price point. And as I always do, I'll give a little sound test. So you can hear how the Romer G switches sound. So I talked earlier about sacrifices, and yes, there are some things. For one, we don't have any dedicated media keys. They are you know, bunched in with the function row as most keyboards are. But the one major setback with this, or the one major limitation I would say, is just the LED lights. I showed you underneath inside the Romer G switch, it has the LED light inside there. And the only color this keyboard has with the carbon is the red LED lights. And like I said earlier, the silver one has the white LED lights. That's it, there are no RGB lights, so if you're an RGB fanboy and you love that kind of stuff, this isn't gonna be for you. You just have the one color option. I personally don't care, but some people will. I just wanted to bring that up. But since we're in the software real quick, I'll just run it by you. It's very self-explanatory. I've always loved Logitech's easy approach at their software. Like I said, you can change the brightness of the LED lights. There's an option where you can turn the function keys to have the primary function as you know, like the media keys and stuff like that. So you don't have to press function each time. You can do things like record macros and stuff like that. It's just overall very easy. It's right in front of you. 
So in the end, you're gonna have to weigh again what you want. I think $89 or 90 bucks is very appealing for this keyboard. It is great, great quality, very solid and sturdy. Doesn't feel flimsy at all. Um, again, you have the carbon option with the black keyboard with red LED lights or the silver option with that silver back plate and the white LED lights inside. So it's cool to give you options. You're just, to, you're just gonna have to weigh whether you do like Rumor G switches or not. But in the end for 90 bucks, Definitely a good keyboard. Just rule out any RGB um, fantasies you might have in your mind with this because you just get one color. But I do like it. It's been great for me for gaming and I don't really have any major complaints. Definitely better than most keyboards out there that I've seen in that kind of mid, mid price range for under a hundred bucks. This is gonna come out on top for a lot of people, so definitely like it. All right guys, that'll wrap it up. I will put the keyboard link in the description down below so you can check it out if you're interested in picking it up. If you like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.